Hey guys, welcome back. So, that last part, that blew my mind, okay? I didn't realize what we were getting into when we did that. But again, I really want to go into my theory, so I'm going to keep playing the game so I can get to my theory before it ends, alright? Actually, you know what, you know, I'm going to go and do it now just to see if I'm... Mm, should I... Alright, I'll put it there just to see if I'm right. Just so you guys can see, like, I did it before, know if I'm right or not. Okay. So my theory is that, see, in, in part 7, you know how we got that ending that wasn't so great, right? Like, we got the okay ending, but not, not the best ending, right? My theory is that he needs to have experienced her kind of like psycho side. Like, in the other side, it was her killing the classmate, right? In this one, it's her kidnapping us. So, if I'm right, we're actually in for a good ending because... We've already experienced her crazy side. And if that's true, this is actually an even better ending than the last one because the, cl the classmate, the lab partner, didn't have to die in this route. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. Let's carry on. Or at least it's what I've heard. I just got here in time to see the body before they covered it up, but I didn't see the violent part. I see. He wanted to go back away in any case. But Lizzie was tugging on his arm. John nodded a quick goodbye and let her drag him away from the crowd. John. Lizzie, do you know something about this? Uh, by the way, guys, the, the, the audio in the last one was a little bit off because, like, the actual game volume was, like, really quiet. I don't want it to be, like, too loud where it's overlapping my voice, but I, want, I do want you guys to be able to hear it because I think it does up the mood. But, so, hopefully, I, hopefully I'm balancing a little more correctly in this one. You know it wasn't me, right? You trust me, don't you? I'm not worried about that. You were with me the entire time. But do you know something? There was another girl. Not like me, but similar. In our school, really? Her mother knew Abby. They got kicked out of a Koi Tech program together. For the same reason, being pregnant? Oh, you have to be kidding me. I never liked her. We never really spoke, but I think she could have been capable of this. Then what do we do? I think we should go. Stay far away from this. I'm not arguing with you there. She went with him to his door, and he kissed her goodnight. But they both knew that things hadn't been entirely settled, not yet. We tried to watch the news, but it was all meaningless. Speculation about what could have caused the girl to murder her boyfriend so brutally. Actually, then again, two cops did die on this route. I, I don't know if cops died on the route? I don't remember. I have to go back and watch. Again, it's been a while. He had to turn it all off after only a few minutes. Because I, I think Lizzie just killed her in the other route. Hmm. Though there were still more questions. When he went to bed, he found they slipped away from him. Instead, he thought about Lizzie's happy face during their date, and he fell asleep smiling. I do like how the pace is going with their relationship, though. It seems like it really worked out. The next morning, John woke, feeling the best he'd felt in a long time. He had to remind himself that most people would be in mourning over the two murders the night before. Oh, I guess it was only one cop that got stabbed. Never mind. The school had the flag at half-mast, and the class was cancelled so they could have a special assembly about the incident. It meant basically nothing to him, and to most of the other students as well. It seemed to have shaken everyone else to the core, but John still felt good. Maybe that meant something was wrong with him, but he didn't really care. He felt like he and Lizzie were even closer than before, but when she arrived, there was a strange look on her face. John, something is wrong. Someone, someone wants to take you away from me. Lizzie, are you feeling well? Please, we need to run away together, or we won't be have another chance. It seemed like she had become more unstable, and what she was saying must have been her paranoia, yet she seemed strangely intense about the whole thing. Just run away? How would that even work? 
I've made plans. We could do it, I'm sure. As serious as she sounded, perhaps this was necessary for her to stay sable. But doing something that wild out of nowhere, after everything that had happened to him, to them, could he? Would that just make her even worse? Decision time. We're running away. We're running away. We're running away together. Where would we go? Won't that just attract attention? No, I'm prepared. We can say the murder made us want to transfer, and then go away and live safe from all this. If you say so, then I trust you. Then we need to get away from here. Far, far away. That very day, Lizzie arranged everything. Pulling him out of school and apparently faking the permission slips. She seemed in earnest, madly jealous, as if a woman would sweep in in a moment and take him away. John went along with her in a daze, shocked by how fast it happened. Lizzie told him to stay, say the murder had shaken him up too much, but wouldn't let him see anyone. Even Miss Smith, other students, were also so shocked, so it didn't raise too much attention. But when they left town, in a car with supplies Lizzie had prepared, John almost felt like someone was following them. It's that girl, right? Mm hmm Was Lizzie's paranoia just rubbing off on him? He told himself it had to be that, because eventually the feeling vanished. They moved away, finished school, found new lives. For years afterwards, John wondered about that moment. Had he made the right choice to support Lizzie, or had he just encouraged another unnecessary paranoia? Maybe it didn't matter at all, yet somehow, he couldn't make himself believe that. Perhaps, in another life, things could have gone differently. Occasionally, he wondered why Lizzie still seemed so nervous about the entire thing. When he asked, she told him that it didn't really matter anymore. They were safe. As the years passed, she began to calm down. She still had days where she needed him to hold her tight, just like he had days where he needed her support. Despite everything, they were a normal couple. After they were married, Lizzie softened again. His co-workers told him he was lucky to have such a beautiful, devoted wife, and he was. I think color returned to the world, but I can't tell because this is kind of like gray and this is kind of like a white. It's hard to tell if, gray returned to his, if, if color returned to his world or not yet. He just had to pretend that he was the one with the enormous collection of knives. <laughs> okay. Nice. Hey, that was a pretty good ending, I would say. So that was pretty nice, okay? I like that. I like that. That was good. That was a good ending. So, actually, I kind of want to take a look at the gallery here and see if there's anything... Yeah, so we sh we're still actually missing things. I think a lot of them are bad endings, though. So, if you remember correctly, when we did uh, 7, this is what we got. We got this one, right? Um, and then we get this one on this one. So this, this is the same one I got the other ending. This is the happy ending. However, there is a second game, uh, which I will go ahead and start recording for. However, if you want me to try for different routes or maybe even show my original route, uh, let me know in the comment section and we'll do that. No problem getting that recorded, okay? So we'll see about that. This video will probably go up the same week as episode 8. Because again, it's it's not very long. It's only it's looking like it's probably gonna be under ten minutes. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. All right. Again, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, night, or whatever it is where you are. I will see you in the next one. Later's.